Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Rock and Roundtable. Today's reaction is one of my favorite symphonic metal bands, Nightwish, with the song I Want My Tears Back. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we will give our personal ranking. My name is Shay. And my name is Matthias. Let's go.
Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I guess it uh, was inevitable when you have a channel and you do some reactions, you're going to have to do Nightwish. There's no way out of it. But we are fans of Nightwish. We are fans of Symphonic Metal. And actually, you got me into Nightwish. Recently. I've uh, been a fan of Nightwish since 2010. I'd say 2009, somewhere in there. So, yeah. 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 And uh, I had the pleasure to see them uh, briefly, at least, um, at Sweden Rock Festival 2022. And then we saw them again in 2023 at the 70,000 Tons of Metal. And for me, that was a better show than Sweden Rock Festival because we were, there was just so many people there and we didn't get a good view of the actual show. It sounded good, though, but. From, from a view standpoint, it was not that good. But 70,000 Tons of Metal was fantastic. We got to see both sets. Yes. So they performed at the theater on the boat. And then it was, and then the last night, um, all the headliners performed on the pool deck. And Nightwish uh, ended the show for that. They were, you know, that was our last set. So, yeah. So exciting. It was fun. Yeah, so this video was from Finland, Hartwall Arena, Helsinki, from 2012. Mm -hmm. And apparently this was before Floor was officially announced as the new singer of Nightwish. Yes, yeah, so I've, I've seen Nightwish about seven, six or seven times <laughs> live. So um, the first couple times with Annette. So in 2012, Nightwish was on their North American tour, and they were halfway done <laughs> and they were somewhere around salt lake city it somewhere in there and where annette was sick it was instead of canceling they had uh the guest vocalist elise from amaranth and alisa white glues um and they were both doing backups for camelot at the time because camelot was opening for nightwish so they came up and filled in for annette so and then the next day they they flew in floor um, as an emergency to finish out the tour. So I had tickets to go see the Anaheim show at the Grove. And so that was like three shows with Floor. So I seen her third one or her fourth one at Anaheim. So she yeah. was just filling in. She wasn't official. So after they wrapped up their, their North American tour and then later in the fall when they got back to uh, Europe, they filmed these at Hartwell Arena. So... She's really good at, you know, when she does her windmill, the head banging. Yeah. She looks really cool with that. And from a fan standpoint, watching a show, I always like to see when people move around, they do these type of things and obviously dress up, make an effort to have a good show. And, and Nightwish, they are masters of doing that. Her stage presence and uh, charisma is amazing. So not only does she have the wonderful vocals that she has, very versatile. You know, she can do many, many crazy things with her voice. Um, mm -hmm. But she also has great, great stage presence and, you know, and she has a good relationship and chemistry with all the guys in the band up there. So she's like, they're, they all look like they're having fun. So, yeah, yeah, I like that. Definitely. And the guitar player, even though he doesn't get much time to shine, mm -hmm. but I just love his sound. I love the way he plays. And just, again, he looks like he has having tons of fun just walking around there and smiling and, <laughs> and enjoying his time on stage. He's a really cool person. I got to meet all of them in Anaheim at the Grove when I seen them. So, yeah. And I met Flora as well. Oh, and cool. Very sweet. So, Yeah, she's the same height as you as well. So. Yeah, she's a little bit taller, but we're close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish she complimented my dress and I, you know, I complimented her makeup. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. And, and she lives in Sweden now with Hannes, who is the drummer of the Swedish band Sabaton. And they are married and she's expecting her second child. Yeah. So real quick about the song, I Want My Tears Back. It's one of my favorites. It's off the album Imaginarium. And the tour that we saw was from the same tour, the Imaginarium tour. So this was one of my favorites, like I said, and I remember all the pyro coming on for the, when they would do it live. So, but this was also, it was kind of interesting, cool. It stood out from the album because it had the little folksy 
power metal or folk, folk folksy. Kind of, kind of Celtic. Sim- yeah, know. Celtic symphonic metal, like a mixture. So um, it was it was the only song that I could recall on that album that sounded like this. So it really stood out and it was really cool. So. Yeah, and I loved when the guy came out playing violin, kind of enhancing the song in a way that I appreciated, you know, the flute and the violin and obviously that killer drummer who I think is not no longer with the band. Oh, he, but he's incredible. Yeah. He, he really is amazing drummer. Yeah, the new guy is also really good. I've seen him twice and he absolutely can, you know, hold the beat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's a, it's a good, good team they have on stage there. I do miss Marco's vocals though. Me uh, as well. The new yeah. bass player, he is really, really good as well. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't do vocals, uh, and Marco, he is missed yeah. by us fans for sure. In my yeah, opinion. there's just it's that little bit of um, chemistry that we miss on stage, and along with his talent. So it is what it is. But we wish Marco well and everything he's doing in the future. I think he's actually on tour with Tadia. They're doing shows together, her oh. solo shows, and he he is as well. Oh, that's good news. Mm-hmm. So time to wrap up this reaction. So what is your rating of this song? Well, like I said, this is one of my favorites on that album. So I, I'm definitely going to give it a nine Marshall Stacks out of ten. Good one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also going to give it nine Marshall Stacks out of ten. Great, great song, great video, amazing performance by all the members. Floor as a new not official member, killing it on stage. Oh, yeah. So if you like what we do, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. And then we will catch you on the flip side.